Hi there. In this short demonstration, I'm going to show how you can create an antique metal effect very simply on a 3D print. The print I'm using I downloaded from Thingiverse, and it's just a model of a sculpture of Alexander the Great. I printed it in PLA because I also printed it at relatively high resolution. I think it was about 150 microns, which is nearly the highest resolution my printer will do, in order to minimize the effects of layers. And I also used PLA because that way I could get finer detail on the model. So you can see the model here. I've cleaned it up. I've taken away the supports. And because I printed it in white PLA, which is just what I happen to have at hand, I need to spray it black before I continue. Obviously, if you print in black, whether it's PLA or ABS to start with, then you won't need to do this step. So you can see I've just got it on some newspaper and I'm using some acrylic spray paint. I find acrylic seems to adhere to both PLA and ABS pretty well. I think it's a sort of semi-matte finish or satin finish. You don't need it to be shiny, although obviously the thicker the layer of paint you put on, the smoother the end result will be, but obviously you may lose a little bit of detail as well. I'm sorry about the wobbly camera. Hopefully at some point I'll get a new one. So here is the paint I'm using. It's an acrylic paint and I've decided to use a bronze colour paint. And this is just a simple brush I'm going to use to apply the paint. So here's the model after it's been painted and you can see there's a lot of detail. I've got very little paint on the brush. I've even wiped some excess off there and I'm just very carefully just trying to catch the high points on the model because those would be the parts on a real metal model that would be well polished and the parts of the model that are in recesses would obviously not be so well polished so it would tend to be tarnished and much darker in colour hence the reason for painting it black first. I'm obviously painting with one hand here while I'm also trying to manipulate the camera. So you can see I'm just going over it and I go over it several times. You can even use multiple different colours of metallic paint of course in order to get various different effects. This is somewhere between a gold and a bronze coloured paint and the end result will often be pretty convincing. And people are often surprised when they pick the model up because, of course, it's still very light. So there I've finished. You can't see it quite so well on the image here, but there are a lot of dark spots where the, obviously the brush missed it. And there you can see around the neck and things, there's a lot of darker areas, which gives that suggestion of a tarnish. I'm quite pleased with how that came out. And you can varnish it if you want, although that will often detract a little bit from the metallic effect. And there's a still image giving you a slightly better look at the model. And you can see it here from behind. So if you look carefully, you can certainly see where it's darker and lighter. And really you just need to experiment yourself. And here's a few other models that I painted in a similar fashion. Probably a little more paint than was necessary on some of them. But there you go, and I hope you found that interesting. If you did, let me know. And if you enjoyed that, don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks a lot.